Aweber versus Active Campaign. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about both of these tools, including what they are used for, the differences, the pricing, and overall, which one is better for your business. If you are interested in potentially picking up one of these email marketing tools, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so jumping right into this, what we can basically see if we go over to the email marketing is that to be honest, these are two pretty similar tools. What they are is drag and drop email marketing autoresponders that make it very easy to create and automate your email sequence. If we go down here, you can see we have a bunch of templates to choose from. So you choose from the template gallery for a template that you kind of like the look of and fits the vibe of your business. And once your template is selected, you basically bring it over to the drag and drop area where you can customize this in any way you like. You can add things, you can take things away, you can edit things, and it makes it super, super easy to design your emails. Now, active campaign is a pretty similar thing. You can see if I find the template, a bunch of templates to choose from, and then you bring it in to the email marketing software and you can drag and drop things in. Now, out of these, which one is easier to use or which one is nicer, I should say. Now, for me, this has got to be active campaign. As you can probably tell just from looking at this area and actually looking at what you get in each of these tools, active campaign is just nicer. It's laid out nicer, it's easier to use. And that is what I have found when using both of these email marketing softwares day to day. Now, on top of this, it's not only that active campaign feels nicer to use, the templates are also a lot more professional. If we just look at these templates, you can see that a lot more thought and a lot more design skill has gone into the active campaign templates rather than the Aweber templates. So that is another thing that I will say. Now we can also take a look at the reviews right here and we can see active campaign has 603 reviews on Trustpilot and has 3.8 stars out of five. Pretty nice. A lot of five star reviews. And um, if we take a look at the one star as this is pretty important, a lot of people are saying terrible customer service. And overall, just like the customer service is not the best. This is something you usually find, and sadly, this is not unusual with an email marketing tool for the customer service to be less than satisfactory, let's say. However, uh, that is only 10% of the reviews. So a, a tiny percentage of the people uh, who come over here are actually having a bad time. And if you think about it, it's usually the people who have negative experiences that actually leave bad reviews. <laughs> like, let me just show you an example of this, and uh, this is pretty hilarious. If we look at Apple, 2.9 stars out of 5 for Apple. It's crazy. <laughs> like, Apple is not a 3-star company. Uh, however, that just goes to show you that most people don't leave 5-star reviews, and you just come if you have a negative experience. So, to have 66% 5-star reviews, uh, you must be doing something pretty well. We can see down here a load of five star reviews, and that is for Active Campaign. And then Aweber, if we pull this up and um, like this, you can see four stars. So slightly better rating. However, something I will say is that Active Campaign is a much bigger company than Aweber 600 reviews compared to 78. So, yeah, that is something to keep in mind. We can see once again, 67% five star reviews. So absolutely fantastic. And I will say that although I have said active campaign is better and I, I prefer the tool and a, a bunch of other things that make active campaign better with either of these tools, if you buy them, you will not be making a mistake. Both are fantastic. I just think active campaign is a, a little bit better. So that is um the five star reviews. However, the one star reviews, let's see what people are saying. So they are banning everyone, terrible service. Del nothing really jumps out at me at, like this is actually a problem. Um, just a bunch of people saying different things. But once again, it is a small number of people who actually don't like this. So that is the reviews. Now, finally, let's take a look at the pricing, which is arguably the most important part of any email software. With both of these, you can get free trials. Um, so with the free trial, I can't exactly figure out how long this is for or what you actually get with this uh, But yeah, they do have a free trial now with Aweber They have a free trial and it is very very limited so you can have 500 email subscribers and you can try everything out with that So I guess it's okay Like you can send out as many emails as you want I guess but only to 500 subscribers so that is the free plan. 
However, which of these is cheaper when it actually comes to the pricing? So let's say that you have 5,000 subscribers on your list. Uh, so if we go here, we'll go both monthly. Okay, so if we go with the light version, which is the cheapest and I guess most valuable version, which is probably the one you will need, that is $99 per month. Whereas Aweber is like half of that price. Unlimited email list, advanced email automation, split testing. So Aweber is a lot cheaper. So that is what I will say. And that's where the, it kind of comes in with what is your marketing budget? Like, do you have an extra $50 to spend on email marketing? Because look, I would say 5,000 contacts to spend an extra $50, that is not crazy. You're definitely going to make that back with your list if you're even half decent at email marketing. But let's see if that stays consistent. Uh, let's say 25,000 contacts. So 150 on Aweber compared to 286 on ActiveCampaign. So we can see that active campaign is quite a lot more expensive. And the only kind of plus that I can really gauge here from active campaign is the fact that with Aweber, Aweber Pro is where it kind of stops. Like you, you get Aweber Pro and that is all of the features you get. And even if you wanted to spend more money to get more features, you would have to switch platforms if you wanted to do that. Whereas with active campaign, you can just upgrade to this plus and professional version where you get a lot more tools and you don't have to switch platforms. But for the light version, Aweber is a lot cheaper. So it really depends what you want to go for. As I said, Active Campaign, in my opinion, is a better tool and it has better features. However, just for the fact that Aweber is much cheaper, especially as a beginner email marketer, I would just recommend probably going for Aweber because of the price. So that is what I would say. Now that is Aweber versus Active Campaign. So if you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.